So where do you start when adding square roots? Well, let's begin by simplifying. And I like to use square roots. So let's go 5 times 8. And what I'm doing is I'm multiplying two numbers together that equal 40. And then I circle the prime numbers. And now I know that 2 times 4 equals 8. Circle the 2 because it's prime. And then I have 2 times 2 is 4. So I'm down to prime numbers. So I'm going to place it back underneath the square root sign. I have 5, 2, 2, and 2. And I got that from these. So I can pull out pairs. So I have a pair of 2's here. So I have 2 square root 5 times 2, which equals 2 square root 10. Okay, so now let's do the same thing for the 90. And I'm going to move this up just a little bit. So let's begin with uh, 90. Why don't we go 2 times 45 because that equals 90. And then let's go 5 times 9. Circle the 5 because it's prime. And then 3 times 3. And I'm going to do the same thing. Place everything. Oops, that's a bad square root sign. I have a 2, a 5, a 3, and a 3. I can pull out a pair of threes, so I have three square root, and I have, again, I have two and five, and so that equals three square root ten. So now I have two square root ten plus three square root ten, and since I have uh, like terms, the square root ten, I can add them so it becomes square root 10. And think of this as a whole unit. The 2 square root 10 is a unit and the 3 square root 10 is a unit. So I'm adding these units and I'm keeping the square root 10 and then 2 plus 3 is 5. Let's look at another example. Okay, let's now add 45, square root 45 square root 90. Again, I'm going to complete a factor tree. Let's go 5 times 9. Circle the 5 because it is prime. 5 times 9 is 45. And then we have 3 times 3. And we're down to prime numbers. Let's place them under the square root sign. And I can pull out one pair of 3's. Okay? So I have 3 square root 5. Now I'm going to do the same for 90. Oh, let's go with 2 times 45, and then let's go 5 times 9, and then, because circle the 5 because it's prime, and then 3 times 3, and let's see what we can pull out from underneath the square root sign. We have 2, 5, 3, 3. We can pull out a 3. That leaves us with 2 times 5, which is 10. So now we have square root, we have 3 square root 5 plus 3 square root 10. At this point, you would combine like terms, but we don't have any like terms, so it becomes 3 square root 5 plus 3 square root 10 because you don't have any like terms. Hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching, and remember, Kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.